Alright guys, about to show you the next step, and that's actually washing the body of your car. As you see, I already explained how I got this uh, Super One. It allows you to wash without needing a bucket. You pour soap, you pretty much you unscrew this. You can put any uh, car wash soap in here you need. Screw it back on. You have a soap mode, and then you have rinse mode. Now what I do, and you also have a couple settings. You got a power wash, angled wash, and then a wide wide band wash. Now you can use whatever you want, but what I'll usually do when I start off is I'll start off by rinsing the car off first. You want to get it wet, kind of get you know the initial dust and whatever off of your car. So I'll probably actually use the power wash. The best technique to usually when you wash a car is you want to start from the top and down. That way uh, you're not you're not backtracking against your own work. You kind of wash from the top. When you get the soap from the top, you you know you rinse it down and it'll trickle down. You know it'll spread around better. And that, that way, if you're working from the bottom, all you're gonna do is uh, <clears throat> you work from the bottom up. You're gonna be going against your own dirt and not whatnot. So. Working from the top and down, you know, from side to side usually works best for me. Try to get all the bugs on. Since this has got an angle, I will go underneath and uh, clean up the underside. Also, for wiping down, usually you want to use a special car wash sponge, you know, something like this. Uh, it doesn't hurt to have a couple of them. You might want two. Keep an eye on it. Make sure there's no debris on it. That way you ain't scratching your paint as you go over it. Uh, usually what I do is I check it every every few seconds to make sure there's nothing on it like, you know, grass or whatever. Uh, never really, when you wash a car, you don't want to do the circles. That's how you get scratch marks. You go from side to side. And you don't even have to use a lot of effort. Just kind of gently do it. That way you, you reduce your chance of scratching your paint. 